Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. So here's a really fun riddle. I carried 100 kilograms of watermelons in the summer by train. In the beginning, their water content was 99%. By the time I reached the destination, the water content had dropped to 98%. In the end, how much did the watermelons weigh? This is a very popular puzzle. A version of it appeared on an exam in India called the KVPY, and I wouldn't be surprised if it appeared in many other places like other exams or even technical interview questions. You may also have seen this puzzle in terms of potatoes instead of watermelons, but nonetheless, the mathematics are the same. So I return to the original problem. In the end, how much did the watermelons weigh? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So at first glance, this puzzle seems like a piece of cake. Ha ha ha, what's the big deal? The answer is easy. The watermelons obviously weigh 99 kilograms. So if someone gives this answer, you might ask, how did you reason? So here's how the reasoning often goes. Well, the water content was 99% in the beginning. In the end, the water content dropped to 98%. So that would be a loss of 1% of water. The weight at the beginning was 100 kilograms. So a loss of 1% 1 of 100 will be one kilogram. Therefore, the final weight will be 99% of 100 kilograms, which equals 99 kilograms. Piece of cake. So unfortunately, this intuitive answer of 99 kilograms is wrong. Not only is it wrong, it's not even close to the answer. But don't worry if you got the wrong answer, you're in very good company. A blog post by Cambridge Coaching explains that this puzzle was given at a barbecue with several masters and PhD scientists, and they all came up with the wrong answer of 99 kilograms. The post wondered, how can several people most of whom have a PhD in science or at the very least a master's in it, get this wrong. They weren't even close to the correct answer. They were really off. I mean, these are smart, accomplished people, and I'm not saying that just because they are my friends. What's more interesting is that when told their answer was wrong, and after spending a few minutes thinking about it, everyone got the right answer. So what is the right answer? It is 50 kilograms you lose a surprising half of the weight when the water content drops from 99% to 98%. So since the answer is so surprising, let's work out carefully why the answer is 50 kilograms. I'll explain a few different methods, so let's get started with one. So in the beginning, there's 100 kilograms of weight. We know that water is 99% of this weight which means that 99 kilograms is water and the remaining one kilograms is other weight. You could call it dry weight. Now what happens at the end? We don't know the weight at the end. That's what we want to solve for. But we do know the water content is 98%. What else do we know? We know that the water evaporates, but the one kilogram of other weight has to remain the same. So we take this one kilogram of other weight and we bring it to the end. So now let's imagine that the final weight was 99 kilograms as everyone initially thinks. So what would happen if it were 98% water by weight? 99 times 0.98 is equal to 97.02. Let's just round that to 97 kilograms. So in this case, we actually end up with a contradiction. If we sum up the weight of 97 and one, we get a total of 98 kilograms. But wait, we said that the total was supposed to be 99 kilograms. So it's not possible that the weight is 99 kilograms. This would create a contradiction. So what is the correct way to solve this problem? 
So let's suppose the final weight is equal to the variable w. Since we have 98% weight by water, we want the water weight to be 0.98 w kilograms of water. We now need the weight at the end to be equal to the weight w. So we want 0.98 w plus 1 to be equal to the original weight of w. This gives the equation w is equal to 0.98 w plus 1. We'll solve this equation for w. Subtract 0.98 w from both sides. w minus 0.98 w is equal to 0.02 w. This equals 1. Divide both sides by 0.02, and that gives the answer that w is equal to 50. So the initial weight has to be 50 kilograms. So let's just go through the calculation and make sure it works. If the ending weight is 50 kilograms, then 98% of that will be 49 kilograms. So that's how much water weight there is. We now have 49 plus one, which equals 50 kilograms. And that exactly matches the 50 kilograms. Therefore, 50 kilograms is the correct answer. So let me just illustrate the answer algebraically. Let X be the final weight, D be the final dry weight, and W be the final water weight. We know that the final dry weight will be 1% of the original weight of 100, which equals one kilogram. The final water weight has to be 98% of the final weight X. So this is 0.98 X. So we have the equation that X is equal to D plus W. It's the dry weight plus the water weight. We can substitute in that W is equal to 0.98 X and D is equal to one. We solve this equation for X. Subtract 0.98 x from both sides to get 0.02 x is equal to 1. Divide through by 0.02 and we get that x is equal to 50 kilograms. But here's another algebraic way to solve it. Let's consider the weight that is lost. Say that's the variable L. We know the final weight will be 100, which is the original weight, minus L. Then we have S as the starting water weight which we know is equal to 99% of 100, which equals 99 kilograms. What is the final water weight F? This will be equal to 0.98, 98% of the final weight. And the final weight is 100 minus L. So the weight loss will be equal to the starting water minus the final water. We substitute in for these variables. And now we just need to solve for L. So we distribute the 0.98 through. Now we just simplify. 99 minus 98 is equal to one. Then we subtract 0.98L from both sides. And finally, we divide through by 0.02 to get that L is equal to 50 kilograms. So the loss is 50 kilograms, and we take 100 minus 50 to equal 50. Therefore, the final weight is 50 kilograms. Here's a final way to visualize this riddle. We have a hundred dots that represent a hundred kilograms. We know that 99% is water weight, so that would be 99 dots. So the remaining one dot would represent the dry weight. So we have 99% as the water weight and 1% as the dry weight. As the water evaporates from the beginning to the end, nothing happens to the dry weight. So this dry weight gets carried over to the end. We now need the water weight to be 98% of the total weight and the dry weight to be 2% of the total weight. So if we have one kilogram and we need that to represent 2%, we take one divided by 2%, which equals 50 kilograms. So this would represent 50 kilograms. So we need a total of 50 dots here. And this represents a visual way to see that we have 50 kilograms in the end. So this is truly a remarkable riddle, and at the heart of it is just basic mathematics. So I hope you share this puzzle with others, and you'll be surprised to see how many people are not able to get the answer at first guess. But I want to prepare you for one more situation. The very person who did not get the puzzle correct will then come at you with, well, this isn't a true paradox after all. You call it the watermelon paradox or the potato paradox. <laughs> it's not a contradiction at all. This is just a surprising result. 
Well, let me tell you, this is what's known as a veridical paradox, which is a result that is absurd or counterintuitive, but is actually correct. Therefore, it is appropriate to apply the term paradox to it. And if you have any objection to that, just take it up with Wikipedia. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.